The Coronian Spit is known as the Pearl of the Baltic Sea. The 98 km stripe of drifting sand dunes, 52 km of which are in Lithuania, washed by the Baltic Sea on the west and the Coronian Lagoon waters from the east, is a wonderful joint creation of nature and human efforts. Residents struggling with the mighty wind and attempting to tame the sand that form the current landscape of the Coronian Spit. Because of this unique union between a man and nature in shaping the landscape, the Coronian Spit was declared a national park and was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. Every style of fishing can be discovered around the Coronian Spit, but the most distinctive one is ice fishing in winter on the Coronian Lagoon. In summer, you need to take a boat, but in winter, you can walk by foot to the best fishing spots. At that time of the year, you can catch many species of fish in the lagoon. One of the most popular is smelt. It is a very delicious and precious fish. The community, the citizens and visitors from many other countries gather every winter on the ice of the lagoon to catch smelts. Another important species is burbot. It is a big fish and local burbots can reach up to 5 to 6 kilograms in weight. Typically, burbot caught from the ice of the lagoon are 1 to 2 kilograms. It is sometimes called winter eel because burbots are most active in winter. In order to reach the water below the ice, you should use a special ice drill. You can rent a special ice fishing tent if you prefer to hide from the wind and get the most comfort when ice fishing. You can also rent a snowmobile with special sleds to get around quicker. Even riding a snowmobile on the frozen surface of the lagoon is a remarkable experience. Special short ice rods are used with natural and artificial baits for fishing in winter. You can get all the equipment from local fishermen of the Coronian Spit and at fishing stores in Tlaipada. The local fishermen also organize fishing expeditions and cheerfully welcome local and foreign anglers of all ages. Come visit and take pleasure in this special kind of fishing in this extraordinary place in the world. The Baltic Sea is an inland sea and its coast is one of the most beautiful in Europe. Lithuania has 90 kilometers of shoreline. Although the coast is short, it is spectacularly beautiful here. Fine and clean sand in the beaches, white Curonian spit dunes, agile recreational resorts and historic coastal fishing villages. The quietly soothing Baltic Sea is waiting for everyone. Despite the fact that the Baltic Sea is shallow, not too salty and unlike other seas, it does not have as many species, but there is some precious catch for fishermen. Salmon, sea trout and cod. These are large and delectable species. Salmon and sea trout are caught using an unusual method, trolling. 5 to 10 rods with lures are used for trolling. Because there are so many rods, the fishing lures need to be away from the fishing boat. For this reason, trolling devices called planner boards are used. They spread the fishing lures up to 50 to 60 meters from both sides of the boat. This makes finding fish in a wider area of the seawater possible, allows using different spoons and increases the chances of a successful catch. Sometimes there might be 10 bites at a time. The size of the catch might be impressive. You can catch salmon weighing up to 20 kilos and the struggle with such a fish might last for an hour. The most common size for salmon and sea trout is between 5 to 10 kilograms. You can only take one fish back home with you, that is why the fish are carefully taken out of the water using a landing net. Aside from the individual limit, the rest of the fish are released back to the sea, robust and healthy. The best time to catch salmon and sea trout is in the cold season. The beginning of the season starts at the end of October and the best months are December, January and February. The beginning of May is when the season ends. Having the proper apparel for these cold months, combined with the adrenaline of pulling huge fish from the water, guarantees an amazing experience. Discover many great places in Klaipeda and surrounding areas for accommodation as well as fishing trips with all the equipment. Come visit and take pleasure in this special kind of fishing in this extraordinary place in the world. Namunas River is a Lithuanian ornament the father of all waterways. It is not only because it is the largest river in Lithuania, tourists in particular love the landscapes of Namunas Delta, which are flocking with birds and displaying miraculous sunsets. There are as many as eight uninhabited islands and the entire unique landscape of the place is designed by water. Interwoven rivers, rigmarole of canals, 
lakes, seaside marshes, and swamps. In 1993, Namunas Delta was included into the list of wetlands of international importance. In order to preserve this fascinating landscape, the Namunas Delta Regional Park was established in this area. Namunas is abundant with many species of freshwater fish. It attracts anglers from around Lithuania and other neighboring countries. One of the best and most popular ways to catch fish in the Namunas is feeder fishing. The feeder is simply a plastic capsule with holes designed to release free bait down to the bottom of the river near the fish as efficiently as possible. Feeders are also used to overcome challenges such as ugly weather conditions and deep or distant swims where accurately throwing in of bait or fishing a float is impossible. The most common catch using the feeder are breams, roaches and perches. You can also catch many other species like European carps, catfish, eels. That is what makes this kind of fishing very interesting. Feeder fishing in Namunas is rather erratic. One day you can catch a lot of breams, another day they might be a lot of roaches. That is why you should always have a few types of bait. Earthworms, maggots, maize and other types of live and vegetal bait. Experiment with different distances and different bait to find the accurate conditions for the day. When the time of the day and weather changes, you should accordingly change your fishing strategy. In Namunas, the best time for fishing is early in the morning. You can also get a good catch in the evening and sometimes even at midday. There are many spots in the area to get equipment for feeder fishing and bait. There is also an abundance of accommodations in the Namunas Delta area and everybody is very welcome here. Come visit and take pleasure in this special kind of fishing in this extraordinary place in the world.